Hey guys, uh, welcome to my channel. Today I have a weird product to test for you today. It is a new way to apply foundation. Here is the box. It is a new kind of sponge. Um, this is a microfiber sponge. So we are gonna see how this works out. If you aren't already subscribed to my channel, be sure to hit that red button down there and hit the bell so you're notified when I post new content. Uh, let's just go ahead and jump right in. Okay guys, so what we have today comes from Juno and Company. This is a thing that I see in my ads on Facebook all the time. It is called the Juno Fusion Sponge. It says that it will do less product waste and more application. And it is a microfiber sponge, so it feels kind of like a towel. If you can see, it's got kind of a weird texture to it. It's got a flat side, flat top, and it's round on the bottom. It claims this won't soak up as much product, so we're going to see what this is all about. Uh, they only had it in blue, I think. There may have been other colors. It was less than $10. Shipping was actually a lot quicker than I expected. It took less than a week to get here. So we are going to go in with this and some Fenty Foundation in shade 120 and see how it performs. So I'm just going to put some on the back of my hand, just one pump for now. And I'm just going to pick it up on the back of this sponge and start putting it on my face. Let me zoom y'all in just a little so y'all can see what I'm doing. Just a little bit better. And we are going to try to blend this out. And so far it's actually kind of difficult. I'm having to kind of drag it to get the foundation to really go anywhere. But it does look like my foundation is going a lot farther because usually one dab with a beauty blender or a brush doesn't quite cover like this whole side of my face. So we are just gonna finish the face off with this and I'm gonna go ahead and speed it up so we can get through this part real quick. Okay, so that is half of my face done. If you can't tell, I think this foundation is actually a little too light for me. But so far, it looks pretty good. Um, it is making the product go farther, but it's all just kind of sitting on top of the sponge. So let me do the other half of my face real quick. And then we're gonna do the rest of my face makeup and just a tiny bit to the eyes just to see how everything lays on top of this. So that is all my foundation on and I know I look so pasty y'all this is why I hate doing my face on camera. Um, this did give me a pretty full coverage. <laughs> Definitely you know covered everything up. It's pretty smooth. Zoom in a little bit more. Let me zoom out a little bit. And uh, I mean it it covered and I felt like my product did go a lot farther than it usually does. <clears throat> so we're just going to try a little bit of concealer and see how it blends that out. I'm just going to stick it in my normal spots. Ooh. Okay, and I'm going to give it a little extra to work with just to see what happens under the eyes. And I'm going to use this side here to blend that in with. Okay. 
Okay, so that did blend in the foundation. I forgot a spot up here, but what I'm noticing is the way that it soaks this product up. Usually, like, I have a little extra, so like this little monster here, I would be able to just take my beauty blender and cover it up, but it soaks this foundation up like it looks really gross really fast because it's all just like sitting on top of this and it's it's like it really is like a towel so i don't know how i feel about this yet um i guess the next step i'm gonna go ahead and go in and do my blush and bronzer really fast i promise and then i'm going to, oh, I don't have my bronzer blush, brush. That's okay. Then I'm gonna go in and contour my face and set it with some powder. So let's see how that goes. Okay, so what I usually do at this point is I take just a little bit of actual contour and put it in that hollow right there. So I'm gonna take just a little bit on the side of this brush and just put it through here, right in that area, and right here. And then once I realize that line is too dark, because that line is always too dark, because when you're pale, contour has to be blended. I always take it with this and blend it out and since the product is like so soaked up into this like it's not blending out quite how I'm used to this is definitely interesting okay <clears throat> and since this has this little flat top I'm going to take it directly into this shade in the Kat Von D shade light palette and I'm going to set that under my eyes. Okay, this part I like because it actually fits in the pan without like destroying all of it. So that's good, I guess. Just to set stuff with, I do like this a lot. But like with the liquid, it's still just sitting right on top of that and it just looks so gross. Okay, so I'm just gonna wipe off some of this extra powder. And I really don't know how I feel about this yet. Um, I'm gonna get off of here and do a little bit to my eyes and then I'll be right back with you guys. Okay, so I got my face on and I turned my brightness down. Um, my thoughts about this little sponge, I think I'm going to try it a couple more times because it didn't apply that bad, but I'm really skeptical on how easy it's going to be to clean one because this, focus in, this is disgusting. Like... My beauty blenders usually look pretty gross after I use them, but this is horrible. Like, can y'all just appreciate that for a minute? And it's like all this like white kind of thing you can see through here. That's like fuzzy. This is kind of like those little things you used to twist your hair up in when you were trying to dry it after the shower, the turby twist thing. That's what this feels like. And it's kind of gross. Like, I'm not even going to lie. I mean, it applied pretty nice. My foundation is smooth and my product did go farther, but like there's no wiggle room with it. Like once that product dries down on here, it is dried down on here and you can't use it to do any touch ups. You can't do anything with it. And I'm pretty sure you couldn't get away with using this without cleaning it every single time. And I feel like that would get really annoying because I like to clean mine like every other time. Even if I'm not supposed to, that's what I do. So, uh, yeah, I'm going to say for right now, this is a miss. I'm going to try it out again. I'm going to see what I think. I mean, it was really affordable. They didn't 
lot. I mean, it did go a really long way compared to how much, you know, Fenty usually doesn't go very far. Like one drop for me might get like this much in my face, but it got like almost the whole side of my face for one drop. So, I mean, or one squirt, squirt. But I mean, still like, I just, I don't like this. It's, it's gross. So, <laughs> That is gonna be my crazy product for the week. And I'm trying to decide what y'all should have on Thursday. I'm torn between the Midsummer's Night Dream, that natural love dupe that just came out, and a really beautiful prism palette tutorial, and I can't decide. So if y'all have a preference, leave that under this video and I'll see what I can do. Um, but I'm gonna film both of them They'll be coming up this week. Hopefully both will be this week. One might be next week, but we'll see. Um, anyways, while I'm rambling, I hope y'all have an incredible day. I will link this thing down below just in case anyone wants to try it. And uh, I guess that'll be it. I will see y'all on Thursday. Bye, you guys.